So, this was supposed to be put into three episodes, but because of technical difficulties, I instead I'm compressing it into one. The pacing may be a little bit weird, but I'm not really worried about that. One day, I was going to Publix to buy some snacks, when I'll check out, my car basically had no money. Almost not just shocked, I came to a conclusion. I could not reach 18 years old and still be poor. Now, that was years ago and currently I'm doing pretty well. However, I have to wonder if one dollar would be enough to make 1k. For those who don't know me, I'm Herman. I don't talk a lot outside of friends and I barely put effort in school anymore, so it may be a shock here I own a startup company. Known as Walking Mysteries, I started it 5 years ago but more on that later. For starters, I set the basic rules that I cannot accept handouts, I mean 1k in USD, and while I can use products I've finished, I can't use them alone. Next, I think about ways I could make money. Walker Industries is basically a research and development startup which is focused on advanced technology. However, it branches out to one of society in general, so I have a few things under my sleeves. Over the last five years, I've designed things from hand tracking and VR smart glasses to a sole operating system and post quantum cryptography system. However, I limited down my first two goals to getting my $1 to being profitable and getting it to $250. So with that, it was time to make some money. I started by giving someone who sold snacks at events $1 and telling him to use it for an inventory until it reached 20 Then, I decided to look for the best event to make money. After research on Focus, I decided on a Taco Fest. Bringing in 5,000 people over 2 days, I would make some game-based merch and sell it. I decided on Halo and got the design. I had 2 weeks at the time to make everything, so I spent the time making bookmarks, stickers, dog tags, posters, jewelry, and more. I didn't use a workshop in Garcia, and we should definitely pass by, to help with 3D printing my designs and printing things out. After I got everything laminated, I cut it all by hand. Now, I am a responsible individual who definitely has a long time, so there's no way I wish you this night before the convention. On the Friday of the convention, I left school a little early to work on setting up the booth, which didn't come out too bad. I set it up well, but it came out better on the second day, and I made a giveaway as well for both days. Through both days, I expected to make $50 with the timing of everything, however, it turns out I understood myself because over two days, I ended up making more than 40 sales, going a little over $450. With this, I blew away my first goal, which allowed me to focus on my next, reaching $500. I have to thank my friend Marcel, who really helped with sales throughout the day and saved me from not having enough data to make fresh sales. sales. From here, I opened up an online shop and I made more jewelry. As of this time, the shop has made an astounding zero sales. Bruh. I got a sell physically for a dog tag, but I still have many more to go. It's also alright because I'm opening an esports tournament with the people who made Halo 2 Project Cartographer, and at announcing it, they're putting it on their server announcements both on Discord and in game, which is pretty cool. If that's not enough, I am still working on my own VR Battle Royale, which none of you will probably see until next year, honestly, and I'm opening a line of 3D modeled figures. I am making the first one on Neon Genesis Advanced Gene figure and I'm basing it off of this scene. I also am using this model for reference, but I'm using Tinkercad and Hexagon to make them a higher quality at 2 feet tall. Aside from this, I already got the green light from the company for flax production laws until I start mass manufacturing at a larger scale. So expect to see figures based off of Destiny 2, Warframe, Genshin Impact, One Piece, and I'm trying to see if I can get a yes for Chainsaw Man, but I doubt it. I also opened a Fiverr I had to make websites and on the first day I got a request, which is only $40 more. However, I can also focus more on the software side of things. I wanted to open a Kickstarter for my smart glasses and the money I would make from the shots mostly goes there. I set up some new, clean hand tracking that could be used but wasn't good enough. I opened my trusty notebook and found two designs that I made for Haptic Labs a year ago. And I'm currently resigning it before I buy all the parts which should be brought before it's February 7th. Aside from this, thanks to the nifty tasks Google provides, I have been able to focus on making the vector gear which is smart glasses for VR and AR I'm making and the Surios. A solid operating system, which will eventually run on my own Linux distribution called Walker was but for now works on Windows. I've basically spent 5 years working on them as you can see, and I'm very excited to talk about it, but I will talk about it more in the next episode. But until then, sayonara.